Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio. And today I'm going to share with you the different viewer option in the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the edit page. And today we're going to be reviewing the different options available for the viewer in the edit page. As you can see here, we have seven different options. Transform, Crop, Dynamic Zoom, OpenFX Overlay, Fusion Overlay, Annotation, and Smart Reframe. We're going to quickly go through each one of them, and I'm going to tell you what they do. So here by default, the first one will be transform. It's deactivated by default, but if you click on it, it will just activate the function of the window. It allows you to transform the size and position of the video in the viewer. So here we can just adjust it. If you just adjust it from here, the horizontal and vertical side, it will deform your media. But if you take it from the corner, it will just retain the same aspect ratio. Then here from the center, you can adjust your position and you can adjust also the rotation with this cursor right there. Also, to be sure to keep the same aspect ratio, you can here just select any horizontal or vertical point, maintain shift on your keyboard, and you will then be able to just modify it by keeping the same ratio. It's the opposite for the corner. If you hold shift on the corner and modify it, you will be able to just deform the ratio. But if you're not holding shift, it will just retain the same ratio. And as you can see, any change we made is reflected in the inspector right there. Now, the second option is the crop. You can just select the crop right here and same thing any change that you make in the viewer will be reflected here in the cropping tab you can crop right you can crop left you can crop the top etc etc and again if you make those modifications here from the inspector it will be reflected on the viewer as well then the third one is the dynamic zoom so as you can see here in your inspector you have a dynamic zoom option by default is deactivated, but if you toggle it on, it will just activate the dynamic zoom. As you can see, it's starting from the green frame when you play it, and it's just ending up on the red frame. The zoom will be continuous from the beginning of your video to the end of the video. You can adjust the in and out here in the viewer. So here, for example, we're gonna reduce the green window, which is gonna be our starting point. And we can just modify the position of that window to focus only on the face of that woman. And we could do here the same with the end of the zoom by reducing that window and then just move it around. Now, if we were to play it, as you can see, it's starting from the green window that we set up and it's just slowly zoom out continuously through the clip to the red window that we set up. In the dynamic zoom ease here, you have also a couple of options. Right now it's linear, ease in, ease out, ease in and ease out. So that's just the curve for the animation. Right now we're gonna select ease in and ease out, for example. And as you can see, it's just changing the look of the animation. Right now it's just start is slowing, then just gonna increase, and then it's just gonna decrease as well. Also right now by default, it's zooming out, but we could just hit swap. And here, as you can see, our rectangle just change. And now instead of de-zooming, we are zooming into the image. So you can just easily swap between zooming and de-zooming. Now the fourth option is open FX overlay. It's not gonna do anything unless you use one of the open FX available in the open FX tab. So here, for example, we could just take the vortex effect and just drag it here on our clip. And now we have possibility to make modification directly on the viewer rather than going to the effect tab and make those modification right there. But it's the same principle. Any modification that I'm gonna make here in the inspector gonna be reflected on the viewer and any modification made in the viewer gonna be reflected in the inspector as well. Now the fifth one is fusion overlay. So right now that's not gonna affect our simple clip, but that will affect, for example, here our title. So if we search for one of our sample, for example, and just bring it in the timeline, like this sample right here. Now, as you can see, we got some control over the position. We can just move that title around. We can also adjust the size of the title and this directly in the viewer. Now the sixth option is annotation. I've recently made a video about it, but you can just make some quick annotation directly here in your viewer for your collaborator. Like if you need to adjust something in your video to make some masking or to adjust some color grading, cropping something or removing something in the video, you can just point to those things directly here in the viewer for your collaborator. I'll leave a link about the full video on annotation in the description below. And now the last option is smart reframe. So Smart Reframe is a great function if you're trying to adapt some 
horizontal content for vertical format. So here we're just gonna go to like a story or real format commonly used for social media. And we have a vertical video. We here just gonna increase the size of that video so it fill up completely the frame. But now the issue is that the main interest of the video is not properly framed. We could then just adjust here the position and reframe that on our own, but that could be time consuming if you have a lot of shot within one video. So a great way to go about it is to use just smart reframe right here in your inspector. Here you can just hit reframe and automatically DaVinci gonna detect the center of interest in your video and gonna reframe your shot properly. And this even if your character is moving. In this video, our main character is not moving at all, but if it were to just move from left to right, that will be tracked with the smart reframe. In most cases, the auto parameter do the job perfectly fine, but if for whatever reason it doesn't do the job well, you can just use a reference point and that's where this come into play. You can just select the reference point and it will just appear right here into your viewer. You can then just select it. So here I'm gonna choose the eye, for example. You can then adjust the frame that you want to use as the reference and then you can just hit reframe and it will use that point as a reference point to make the reframing. And now we can just play it and everything is reframed properly once more. And we can see that the smart reframe is just automatically making some keyframe on the position to keep this properly centered. So here, if I play it, as you can see, the position is changing to make sure that this stay properly centered into frame. And that's pretty much it. Those are the seven view options on the edit page. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.